What's up everybody and welcome. My name is Eric. This is the Sons of Seaver YouTube channel where there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. I'll be joined later in the video by my brother Chris and today we are going to be reviewing for you a barefoot everyday sneaker. This is the Lems Primal Zen. Before we get going with the review, I uh, just wanted to mention some of the affiliate links that we have. If you go check out the description of this video, you'll see a link to uh, Lem Shoes and zero shoes. And we just wanna be very clear about the way that those links work. So basically, if you use one of those links to get to their websites and you make a purchase, we will receive a small commission from that. Uh, but we wanna be clear that you know neither Zero nor Lems are paying us to make these videos. We're not sponsored. Uh, our opinions are our own and we're under no obligation to say good things about either of those companies. Uh, but they do happen to be companies that we love, which is a reason why we reached out to them and wanted to form these partnerships is because we really believe in their products and we really like them. If you're in the market for some barefoot shoes, uh, I think Lems and Zeros will have you covered. There's a lot more out there that you should definitely go and explore. Um, but if you're looking for sandals, if you're looking for hiking boots, if you're looking for running shoes, if you're looking for dress shoes, just between those two brands, uh, they would definitely have you covered. Uh, like we mentioned before today, we are talking about the Lems Primal Zen. Now this is uh, the successor to the very popular Primal 2, uh, but it is quite a bit different from that one, and we will talk about that. So let's talk about the specs of this shoe. I'll kick it over to Chris so that he can talk about that. I first want to start with the fact that there are two different kinds of Zens. One is the suede version, which I have here, and the other is a microfiber and air mesh shoe, which is what Eric's going to be working with for this review. We have three colors in each of those camps, woodland, black, and white in the air mesh camp. And then on the suede side, we have our graphite, we have our ocean, and then we also have one that is called sunray. So lots of options from materials and lots of options from colors for you when it comes to the Zens. Now we're going to focus on three main things when it comes to the specs of the shoe. Those are the fact that it is zero drop in true barefoot fashion. We have a very nice wide toe box that allows Eric and I to both splay our toes out completely, which is very nice. They're not restrictive at all. And the last thing, which is a point we're going to key in on a little bit for this review, is the stack height, because I think this is going to be kind of a controversial point. The stack height on this guy is 11 millimeters at the outsole, and then we have a 3.8 millimeter insole with that cork top which I'm just going to round up 15 millimeters on the stack height for this guy. So let's key in on that stack height because I think all barefoot style minimalistic shoes are going to have the same features as far as wide toe box and zero drop. The stack heights are going to vary from company to company and even from shoe to shoe within that company depending on what the shoe is for. So keeping in mind 15-ish millimeters on stack height with our Zens, the subject of the day. This is the Splay Freestyle that has a six and a half millimeter stack height. The Vivo Barefoot Primus Light 3 has a seven millimeter stack height. Our Vibram Five Fingers Retro Run has six millimeters in stack height. And our Zero Prio has five and a half millimeters in stack height. Now these things are gonna change depending on sometimes your foot size and if you're wearing insoles or not inside the shoes, but those are the stack heights that I'm currently dealing with in these use cases. Now the reason that this is important is because a shoe with a stack height of 15 millimeters is going to feel very different in certain situations than a shoe with a five and a half uh, millimeter stack height. I trained for a half marathon in these up to about five miles and then my feet couldn't take the shock anymore from the asphalt or the concrete into my feet. The stack height just wasn't enough. There wasn't enough absorption through the rubber in this shoe and I needed to switch to something else. In comes the Lems Primal 2 which has an overall stack height of 11 and a half. I trained for the rest of my half marathon in this and then ran my half marathon in this shoe. And I felt like it was optimal for the absorption of those forces. Now, this brings up an interesting argument that's going on right now in the shoe world. And it is that our feet from the barefoot side of the argument 
are meant to do certain things. We are meant to be as barefoot as possible as often as we can. Zero drop, wide toe box, all that stuff. And that's great. And I believe in that to a degree um, when it comes to the minimalist part, because the other side of the conversation is that we have modern surfaces. Modern surfaces is the term that these people love to use that we have to deal with. Asphalt and concrete and other things. And our feet have not evolved to optimally absorb the force that is created when we are working on these surfaces. So I think the bridge between these two sides of the argument is a shoe that has the barefoot features, but then manipulates the stack height for the situation. This is a, a barefoot shoe that is also meant to be comfortable. So that might be a bit polarizing for some people out there because the way that they provide the extra comfort is by giving it a little extra stack height. I know for some barefoot purists out there, that's too much, right? You might be saying to yourself, that's not a barefoot shoe, it's not gonna provide enough ground feel. And uh, we definitely feel you there. I mean, when you look at a Zero Prio that has around five millimeters, there's quite the difference there. Uh, but balance is the name of the game with the Primal Zen, and I think that Lem's hit it out of the park, to be honest. That's why I think Ultras are a very popular go-to running shoe for a lot of people. They have that zero drop, they have the wide toe box, and they have a very thick stack height of sometimes like 20 millimeters on those guys. They are much thicker in the sole than most shoes. On the other side of the spectrum, you have our Zero Prio, which is as minimalistic of a sole as you're gonna find in a lot of cases. And then somewhere in the middle, you have something like the Primal Zen, which I think is what makes this shoe so good. Even though it was marketed as an everyday shoe for going to the store and going to work and going on dates, if the weather is nice and everything, that's what you should wear this shoe for. I think it lends itself well to activity. And most barefoot shoes are gonna do that because they're anatomically correct for your feet. They're gonna lend themselves well to activity. And that's why I love this guy as a runner. I really like these to go for runs in. And as you can see, we even did some trail running in them, which you'll see lots of footage of in this uh, video because they did a really good job out on a pretty easy trail. Wouldn't wanna do anything crazy in these. And we'll talk about why when we get into the ratings, but I love it for running and I've used it a fair bit for lifting as well. It's not as good as my splay freestyle when it comes to lifting weights, but it is doing pretty good. Again, these are going to be kind of good for everything, but not really fantastic at any one thing, except in my opinion, maybe as a runner. So now let's get into our rating system for the product. For those of you who have watched the channel before, you know that every product that comes through here will get rated based on three categories, which are function, feel, and versatility. It's gonna get a score of zero to 10 on all three of those categories, and then we're gonna average it out for the final product score. So for the first one, functionality, we are gonna kick things over to Eric. So when it comes to the function of the LEMS Primal Zen, it's important to remember you know, what it was built for. And it was built to be an everyday sneaker. It was built to be something that you could wear all day long. And I think that there's two things that really lend itself well uh, to that function, and that is the, the good looks of it. This is just a really good looking shoe in my opinion. Obviously that's a little bit subjective. Somebody out there could think that it's ugly, but I would think that you were crazy. I think it's a great looking shoe. You can pair it with shorts. You can pair it with jeans. You can pair it with different colored chinos. Obviously it can't be dressed up too far, but man, it looks good all around. And then there's also the feel of it, right? We're gonna get more into the feel uh, in just a moment, but the fact that it looks good and that it feels good make it a really great everyday sneaker and uh, I give it a 10 out of 10 for that. So let's talk more about the feel then. 
I'll send it over to Chris into his studio so that he can discuss that with you. So feel is going to be an interesting conversation when it comes to barefoot shoes in general. There's going to be a lot of factors that bleed into what gives this its score for feel. And one thing I want to talk about is that if you've been researching barefoot shoes for a while or you've been watching lots of videos about barefoot shoes, you've probably seen a Zero Shoes advertisement that has the owner, Steven Sation, and what he says is, I don't wear comfortable shoes. I refuse to wear comfortable shoes and you shouldn't wear comfortable shoes either. I think that this is somewhat misleading and the reason why I say that is because barefoot shoes don't have to be uncomfortable. They can be at the beginning especially if like me you went with an extremely minimalistic shoe like the Prio to be your first barefoot shoe I spent about a month in a lot of pain and soreness in my lower legs because I didn't pick a good transition shoe to get into barefoot shoes I just wanted to dive right in which is absolutely my personality so be smarter than me and go with something <laughs> like the primal Zen but um, that is why these are thought of as uncomfortable. We don't have the cushioning in any of these that popular shoes have in them today, which I think is a good thing. It's beneficial for your feet to not have that cushioning, but stack height does matter to the comfort that you feel from your barefoot shoes. And I think because of the stack height, because of the fantastic toe box, and because of that amazing liner in there and the zero drop, these are an extremely comfortable shoe. They feel very good on your feet. Not to say that I don't like the way that my Prios feel. I definitely like the way that these feel better. Now I am gonna have to knock them a point because one aspect of feel with barefoot shoes is gonna be ground feel. And these don't have the most ground feel. Whereas with something like the five fingers, I could step on a coin, tell you which coin it is, and maybe whether it's heads or tails. This guy, I'm gonna step on a coin and I can tell that the coin is there, but I can't tell what it is or which side it's going to be on. So there is ground feel better than most shoes out there, but I think it could have been better. I honestly think they could have knocked the stack height down to 10 total. And this would have been an absolutely amazing work of art. Still love it the way that it is, but a little bit more minimalistic on the sole, and I would have been a little bit happier. So with that, I'm gonna give it a, a nine out of 10 on the feel. Now let's throw things back over to Eric to talk about the versatility. When it comes to the versatility of the shoe, the phrase that's come out of both of our mouths when we've been talking about it is, you know, it is a jack of all trades, uh, but a master of none. And I would say master of none except for, you know, being an everyday sneaker. Um, but a jack of all trades, we've kind of put these through the ringer and uh, we've taken them on runs, we've taken them on trail runs. Chris has used his in the gym and uh, they lend themselves well to other activities, but I don't think that you would want them to be a dedicated running shoe or a dedicated hiking shoe or uh, in Chris's case, a dedicated gym shoe. I think they'll get you through in a pinch, but they're not something that you wanna use heavily uh, for those other activities. So I think a good illustration of that is these past two weeks, I've been at training for my job. So it's a business casual atmosphere, or at least it's supposed to be. The first day I walk into training, you know, I'm a little bit more dressed up when I see guys walking around with jeans and nicer sneakers. So I was just like, okay, sweet. Take my dress shoes off and I'm gonna wear my Primal Zens to work now. But I also used them to go on a light run around the hotel. And they worked very well for that. I could also see myself going on a light hike somewhere. But again, I don't think that they're gonna be my dedicated running or hiking shoe, or even my dedicated, you know, work shoe. It's just, I can throw these in my bag for a weekend conference or a couple weeks of training and really get away with them being my only shoe. So they do pretty well in the versatility area, but again, I wouldn't dedicate them to those activities. And so for that reason, we give them an eight out of 10 for versatility. Uh, which brings us to the final score. So I'll let Chris wrap it up for you there. So for my overall score, I'm going to give this guy a nine out of 10, and I think it deserves it. This is a really good, well-rounded shoe. And if you're looking for a first barefoot shoe to get into, I think that this guy will provide all of the things that you need in order to make the transition 
to living a barefoot lifestyle. I wish I had gotten these as my very first shoe. It probably would have been a much more comfortable transition for me. Guys, if you like this video, we would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Obviously, we'd also love it if you would check out the links down in the description for both Lems and Zero and whatever else we have down there. That would be awesome. There are a couple different places where you can follow along with us. One is our Instagram, which is Sons of Seaver, just like it is here on the YouTube channel. Then you can also follow along with us on Strava, where we are posting about our trail runs and our hikes and our adventures. You can come along with us on those adventures on Strava, so make sure to follow along with us there. Eric has his own YouTube channel called A Pilot's Life for Me, where he focuses on really cool landscape aerial videography with his drone so if you're into that go and give him a follow along there and then i have my own youtube channel called siever shoots where i focus on gun industry stuff and preparedness if you're interested in that at all then go check the links down in the description that'll take you over to my youtube channel and my instagram you can follow along with me there we really appreciate your view and as always we will catch you in the mountains